So, your child is transgender. How should they handle this? This video is for parents looking to accept their child, not for parents looking to stop their child from being transgender. But don't leave yet, I do have a message for you. If your child came out to you as trans, they put an indescribably immense amount of trust in you to accept them. It was likely very scary for them to come out to you. Hell, I don't even have to say likely, it was very scary for them to come out to you. I'm sure they likely feared for their lives. But they put those fears aside and trusted that you would accept them. And you may think, it's just a phase, or they're just following a trend. And maybe that is the case. It's incredibly unlikely, but theoretically, even if it was just a phase, so what? Phases are important to the development of a child, and if you try to stop that, then they'll just stunt their growth. And if it's not just a phase, if it's truly their identity, what then? If it's a phase or not, should not matter, for the worst thing to happen if you accept their identity is they change their minds. The worst thing to happen if you don't accept their identity is they never trust you again with anything. And they are very likely never going to interact with you again if they get the opportunity to do so. As for the trend thing, the reason I say that's unlikely is because trans people are ridiculed undeservedly. And frankly, it's legitimately... There is legitimately zero benefit to being trans unless someone is genuinely trans. Sure, they may be accepted in the community online, but they're going to get so many transphobic messages. It's ridiculous. And it's very much a shitty situation to pretend to be trans. It's even shittier to be trans. But they are willing to put up with all that negative, all those negatives because they don't feel right about the gender they were assigned at birth. They don't feel right in their bodies. It's a shitty situation to not feel right in your own body, and being trans helps with that. Now, if you found out your child is trans due to snooping around in their devices and whatnot, you, frankly, violated your child's trust. You may say that you bought their devices and you're entitled to that. And sure, legally you are. But morally, you're bankrupt and you do not deserve your children. Now, if you're at this point in the video and still intend to stop your child, your trans child from being, well, trans, then frankly, you are not welcome here. Leave your transphobic slash homophobic slash shitty hate comment. Dislike the video and fuck right off, would you? This place isn't for you. And I wish your child the best, because clearly, you don't. And now, for the parents who are accepting, but may be just a bit confused. No worries, I'm going to start out with the very basics and teach you about ter important terms and definitions. First of all, gender. Yeah, I know, this is a bit basic, but it is different from what it used to be. People tended to use gender and sex interchangeably, but now there is a distinct difference. Gender is the social identifier aspect, while sex is the XXXY chromosome stuff, the, bio the biology stuff, if you will. Now, onto transgender. That just means their gender is different from their sex. Whether it be male to female, female to male, male or female to non-binary, etc, etc. Just ask your child what, they, what pronouns they want you to refer to them as. Whether it be he slash him, she slash her they slash them, or whatever. Cisgender as well. Well, most people are, frankly. Their gender is the same as their sex. Dead naming is the act of calling a trans person by their old names. A trans person is very likely to choose a new name to fit their preferred gender identity, and their old name as well, dead to them, hence the name. I may as well talk about the more general terms as well. In the LGBTQ plus stuff. Sexualities, uh, this is where stuff like gay, straight, bi, asexual, pansexual all fall under. I may as well talk about the sexualities too. Gay, aka homosexual, is when someone's sexually attracted to the same gender. Straight, aka heterosexual, is when someone's attracted to the opposite gender. This is where most people will fall under. 
bisexual, aka bi, is where someone's uh, sexually ta- attracted to the two main genders. Asexual, or ace for short, is when someone is not sexually attracted in general. Pan, or pansexual, are people sexually attracted to all genders. And if you're wondering if there's practically a difference between pansexual and bisexual, I don't think so. I don't think a bisexual person is going to not be sexually attracted to a non-binary person simply because they're non-binary. But don't quote me on that. I don't know. Just don't make the sex- uh, sexually attracted to pan jokes. They've heard it a million times, and it's never funny. <laughs> on to the next portion. How to make your child feel accepted. Treat them like a normal human being. Call them by their preferred pronouns and the name they've chosen. Of course, I do think it'd be understandable if you make the mistake of dead naming them or calling them by their old pronouns for a bit as you get used to the change. But you should apologize whenever you catch yourself dead naming your child or any trans person, really. Of course, and don't be a dickhead about it and patronizing either. For example, something like, oh, hey, John, oh, sorry, Jane, you hear about the blank? Or he's, oh, sorry, she went to get some blank, are perfectly acceptable. Just be concise, short, and uh, genuine with the apology, and you'll be fine. Honestly, I do think just using they slash them pronouns is the best option because you're never wrong when doing that. And there will be people who say, you can't use they slash them pronouns for singular people. They are objectively wrong. Everyone has used they slash them to refer to a singular person because that is part of they, the language. Also, I should mention the fact that, frankly, a lot of the states in the US fucking suck for transgender people. I, will, I put a link in the description for a map that uh, shows the states that are safe for transgender people. The map is for the US. I don't know any resources for any other countries, and I'm sorry for that. I do wish you the best in whatever country you're in.